Also tonight, a trial delay in the case against the father of Cody Bigsby. You'll remember Corey Bigsby faces dozens of charges of child neglect. The delay comes as this coming Monday marks one year since Corey Bigsby reported his four year old son missing. Cody has never been found and many haven't given up in his search. So why this new delay in the case? Dead on your side, Haley Mylon has more from court in Hampton for us. Even more of a holdup in the case against Corey Bigsby. Back in November, his legal team requested a competency exam, but the results were shared today and they objected to the findings. So a judge ordered a second exam. We need to go ahead and get a doctor who's going to fairly evaluate him. A court ordered examination found Bigsby competent to stand trial. But Bigsby's lead defense counsel, Curtis Brown, said the report differed from one his team commissioned that found Bigsby incompetent. The incompetency finding is inadmissible in court, though, because a court approved psychologist didn't handle the evaluation. Judge James Hawks appointed another psychologist to evaluate Bigsby, who's been in jail since February of last year, facing more than 30 charges related to child neglect and abuse. His family maintains he had nothing to do with four-year-old Cody's disappearance. There's no proof that you've done anything to the child. You've been locked up for one whole year. Glenn Hinnan says he was in court to support his nephew, and he's been footing the bill as well. Family's hurting. You know, my wife and I, we pay for this whole thing. It is not about money, but we hurt too because he hurt. That's our nephew. Hinnan echoing the family's claims that Bigsby is being unfairly treated by prosecutors and investigators, and that Cody might still be out there. But you never search nowhere. You never look for nowhere. Hinnan says he can't comment on his nephew's mental state, though. I can't say because I'm right now, I I'm not a psychiatrist. They won't even let us go visit. Bigsby's counsel told the judge they only requested the competency report after seeing evidence admitted by prosecutors on the eve of the original trial date. They say they'll make a motion to dismiss the evaluation if he is indeed found competent. They also complained about the pace of the case, but Commonwealth's attorney Anton Bell told 10 on your side he hasn't asked for a single continuance. Those results will be heard on March 31st. In Hampton, Haley Mylon, 10 on your side.